So the book is the Interactive Play Guide. It's an acronym-based system. So basically, every letter of interactive spells out one fundamental step of creating your interactive play experience. I've worked with all types of dogs, right from chihuahuas all the way up to like a Newfoundland. Everybody thinks of play as something that the dog will just do, but you've got to teach it exactly the same way as you would do anything else. You've got to build your interactive play experience brick by brick, you're creating the experience. And the first thing that we're capitalising on is the dog's chase reflex. We've got to get that chase consistently before we get anything else. The dog has a natural ability to want to chase something. That's where the interactive play experience comes from. You've got to have the dog happy to chase an article to start with. So we're captivating on their natural, natural chase reflex. Once they're consistently chasing out and picking an article up, we can show them that the game is back with us. But we've got to get consistent behaviour with that and not sporadic performance. We are stuck in a nation of people that can't communicate with their dogs when something is more interesting over there. They become stimulated to the point, there's another dog, oh my god, I want to go over there and get onto that other dog, I want to talk to them. And the handler's voice has no reference in a lot of cases because they haven't practiced communicating with the dog when it's in a heightened level of stimulation. So what I offer everybody the chance to do is to stimulate their dog to a level where they are in good stimulation. They're motivated, they're stimulated, they want to play. They're in what I call almost fuzzy thinking. The dog goes into that place, but then you're captivating and practicing communicating with them when they're in that heightened state. They're motivated, they want to do something. But what we're doing is capitalizing on that gold dust, that motivation, and showing the dog that we are the creator of the best experience in the world. When dogs are highly motivated and they're pulling back into the toy and they're being boisterous and erratic, what everybody does is fight against them. You've got to go with them to make their dance, to make them show, you've got to show them that the game is back with you. If they're pulling back erratically and wanting to get away from you with the toy, you're not going to create a really good interactive play experience. You're going to end up hitting with lots of conflict. So like for example, if the dog's pulling back really, really hard on its toy, that's brilliant. Don't pull him in and show him that there's a fight here. Go with him, make him feel big and strong. Let him win his toy and then use your body language to get the dog back into you to show you that this is where the game is. All of a sudden the dog realises oh, the game's back with mum, the game's back with dad. It's not just with this article. You want to show the dog that the motivation and stimulation level is back with you. Agility, obedience, IPO, Mondio ring, working trials, or just your pet dog that's at the fire at night time, that has lots and lots of energy during the day, you want to build a better relationship with them and you want to be able to communicate with them in that heightened state of stimulation. It's practice, practice, practice.